hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that everything is well with you and yours uh, i'm just giving a little mini vlog of some things that i enjoyed throughout the week uh, i got to go to the butterfly house with a friend of mine i hadn't seen in a while so that was really awesome um, as you guys can see it was butterflies everywhere um, and just being around all the different plants just Don't really to get to raise my serotonin levels <laughs> uh, and then here we went on a little sushi date and just enjoyed the day with some ice cream and I encourage everyone to get out there um, safely of course wear your mask and whatnot uh, but yeah life is too short to be in the house for too 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 long so make sure you guys are enjoying yourselves And here we're going to get on to the painting. So again, this is something I've been updating you guys on piece by piece. I have a show coming up pretty soon on the 21st. Um, and I want to make sure I'm cranking out as many quality pieces. Of course, always, but uh, just as many quality pieces to sell uh, out on Soulard. I'm pretty excited. Um, trying to take a different direction with my art. Um, and just be more complex with my thought and creating the composition. The paint that I'm using is acrylic. I've been leaning more towards using that lately since it dries a lot quicker than oil. Um, but I'm getting better at using this. I definitely could not paint um, that well with acrylic about a year ago. And like I said, this painting isn't done. It's a growing process. I'll probably come back and shoot another video after or around the 21st so you guys can see how everything turned out. I might even get a bit of footage while I'm out and about down at Soulard as well. So stay tuned on my channel. Oh, I don't know why, but I have a really bad habit of painting and using my paint palette for my hand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. I think what I have going on here. A little bit more details in the eyes. I'll probably add more flowers, maybe more butterflies. I need to fix that entire area. Um, but yeah, just did this. I'm going to put the now. I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. I have my super duper thin brush. So I'm going to take it here. Sharpen the edges. Can you see that? Some people aren't doing saw lines, and then you back away from it, it looks super sharp compared to my organic lines here. I've got one button down the face just to cover all surfaces, and this is gonna be like a little outer, outer space montage of the dark of the trees. But yeah, this is what I got going. As you can see right here is the flyer for the event so if you're in the area make sure you come out and see me 
Uh, that way you can see my paintings in person and just show support. I would love to meet some of my subscribers if you guys are in the area. Uh, right now um, in St. Louis, well, for forever, St. Louis Chinese food is super duper famous, super duper scrumptious if you ask me. So I'm just painting this Chinese box with uh, a lot of the symbols that are native to me and my family. Um, and I love the way this painting is going. I didn't finish it on this time lapse, but be sure to uh, stay tuned on that. I might even do another print of this painting on some canvas totes. So stay tuned, everyone. <laughs> So this next painting is actually of one of my favorite toys when I was a child, um, the Polly Pocket toy. <laughs> I was surfing on Pinterest, that's where I get most of my inspiration from, and I saw someone who made a clay Polly Pocket necklace, and I just had to take the idea and run with it. Um, so as you can see, um, I just have it like set up on a dresser type of thing, and I added this funky checkerboard print just to liven up the color. Um, and be a good background for all the details I'll do in the middle. Um, again, I did not finish this painting on this time lapse. You'll have to come back and check out the next one uh, to see how it all came together. And here is coming up more of the details up close that I've added so far. Um, of course, there's still a lot of room to go on this. I might go back in with oil paint to finish up. Uh, but once again, thank you for watching my channel and see you guys in the next video.